In order to prevent loss of data, online data from a device such as a PLC, robot, or HMI needs to be automatically backed up at regular intervals. It just takes a few steps to create and configure a backup job in the VersionDog admin client. VersionDog also uses backups to determine if the version on the server corresponds with the online data on the device. This process helps to limit unauthorized changes and to ensure that all changes are checked in centrally to the server. To set up a job for a Somatic S7 project, for example, you first need to select the component in the project tree. After you do this, it just takes one click to open the job configuration. In addition to device-specific settings and upload and compare settings, it is also possible to configure job-specific settings for individual backup jobs. You can determine, for example, under which conditions the job is carried out and what data is included for upload and compare. After the job has been configured, a backup is manually started to test the connection to the PLC and to check the configuration settings. Data is uploaded from the controller to the server. Job results are displayed chronologically, showing any differences between the server and the device. And the best news is that there is no need to keep checking the job results because VersionDog will send out an email notification if any differences are detected. Not all users have access to the VersionDog admin client, but that is not a problem because it is also possible to access and retrieve backups using VersionDog user client. To see all the backup jobs that have been configured for a component, select it and go to the Jobs tab where the jobs are listed. Simply clicking on a job will also allow you to see at a glance the results of all comparisons for that job in the user client. If a malfunctioning controller needs to be swapped out, downloading the backup data to the new device is a matter of just a few clicks. To do this, just select the backup from the list and copy it from the server to your client PC. The retrieved backup is now in the working directory and can now be copied to the device or changes can be made and a new version can be created.